yo 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 what is up everybody it is CT Jet and I am back with another tutorial so what am I doing today well I'm going to be showing you how to transfer signals <clears throat> sorry anyway so first off this is an electronic circuit that allows me to transfer electricity from here to here or from here to there sorry without them ever uh, touching. So how does this work? Well, as you can see, I can put in a value, and then I can go down, and once they get close enough, this light will turn on, this light will turn on, that's the status, whether or not it's connected, and then it'll transfer the value. If I go back up, it'll start transferring to there again. So this is done by the use of magnetic plugs, which are found in the electronics section. So if I take a magnetic plug and a magnetic socket, they actually have a charge and they'll want to stick together. Or not a charge, I'm sorry. A uh, magnetic field, I would say. Um, they conduct electricity through the part that is facing away from these. So the part that's farthest away from the, uh, the outputs and inputs is the part that transfers electricity. I wouldn't even call it electricity though, because... And I went. So, uh, all I have is I have a wire coming from this output, from output 1, going into the input of the magnetic plug. The first output of a magnetic plug is the status, which will show whether or not it's connected, which is, and it obviously is not, so those won't light up if it's about that far, but if it's down here, it will light up. Um, <clears throat> if output 2 on the magnetic plug will output to here if the grapher, or will output to the grapher if it's, uh, okay, sorry. It's basically like an if gate. So if it is not connected, then output the value that's coming in. Uh, so the magnetic plug also can transfer power to the magnetic socket so it won't power this one anymore it'll power this one transferring that value so the next part i'm going to cover is transmitters and receivers so if you put a transmitter in here and a receiver in here now let's let's uh let's get one of these you can see that lights up pretty fancy. Now, uh, this was on signal or frequency 1. This is going to look a little different from mobile. So let's set this to 2 now. Now, wait, now, as you can see, it is not affecting that one. But if we put a receiver with 2, it will affect that one. So that's a good thing to do. Let's go ahead and put a receiver with 2, a receiver with 3, and a receiver with four. Let's go ahead and plug all these in. Now, as you can see, that's going on and off for frequency two. All right, next part, we're gonna use a transmitter. We're gonna use a broadcaster. So, let's go ahead and put these in. Now this is going to broadcast over a range of signals. So we're going to begin at range, or at, begin at 1 and 3. And end at 3. So now, oh, my bad. Yep, there we go. So as you can see, now just those three are lighting up. So it's broadcasting over a range of signals. And the transmitter is essentially the same thing as a, you know, another transmitter. But what we can do, I'm going to put another one over here. We can transfer 
the signal so we don't have to just always transmit to the same signal. We can bump it. So that's basically all I've got for you guys today. So if you like the video, please like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and CTJet is out.